get started with your Pentero 800S, ensure the power cable is plugged in. The power button will light up white when the cable is plugged in correctly. Switch on the device by pressing the power button. It will turn green when the device is switched on. Give the system a bit of time to fully turn on until the user selection menu is visible. Select the surgeon that is going to perform the surgery to load their settings. By clicking on the user menu, you can change the user. Click on user administration to manage users and change settings. You can duplicate a user and their settings by clicking this icon. If you want to delete a user, you need to mark it and click on the bin icon. If you want to edit a specific user, click on the pen icon. You can now change the name, the system language for this user, their diopter and eyepiece information, and you can add comments. After choosing the correct user, go to the patient menu. Here you can choose a patient, add a new one manually or import patients from different sources. If your Pentero 800S is connected with your hospital's patient management system, you can import a patient profile from a DICOM modality work list. You can also change patient data on the device by clicking the pen icon. To go back to the home menu, click on the house icon at the left corner. To see the current functions on the hand grips, Open the Extended Control Center and click on the Hand Grip icon. If you want to change the functions, click on Adjust Settings and choose the button that you want to configure. On the right side, you will see the different functions that can be configured by clicking on a specific button. This little icon always indicates that the settings are linked to this specific user. You will find this icon throughout the whole system for different settings. The settings of your hand grips can also be protected with a pin. If the user prefers to control the device by using the foot control panel, reopen the extended control center and click here to see the settings for the foot control panel buttons and adjust settings to the preferences. To pair the foot control panel with the device, you can either plug it in with a cable or click on status information in the home menu bar to pair it wirelessly. For the wireless connection, press pair and follow the instructions on screen. You'll see in the status information if the pairing was successful. You can now use the foot control panel for focus, zoom, precise movements of the device with the joystick and to execute certain features. To put the microscope in a different position, release all brakes by pushing one of the lower green buttons on the back side of one of the hand grips. Smaller movements can also be made by using the joystick on the hand grips or on the foot control panel. To focus the image and zoom in and out, use the rocker switches on the hand grips or on the foot control panel. If you want to change the light intensity, use the yellow buttons on the hand grips. To take a photo or start video recording, either program these functions to one of the buttons on the hand grips or the foot control panel, or press the photo and video icons on the touch screen. To access the most frequently used settings, go to the control center on the right side of the touch screen. On top, you will find some switches to turn the light on and off, deactivate the safety feature focus light link and switch the additional light on or off. We recommend keeping the focus light link activated as it's a safety relevant function that limits the maximum adjustable light intensity depending on the working distance. Below the switches, you'll find some numbers, light intensity, the working distance, and the zoom factor. You can adjust the settings by clicking on the numbers. Change the light intensity by clicking here. 
By clicking on the working distance, you can change the speed of the focus and activate focus lock in case a micro manipulator is used. Click the zoom button to change the speed of the zoom. This icon allows you to change the speed of the movements performed with the joystick. Changing the focus, zoom and movement speed might be especially relevant when working under high magnification. The last button of the control center allows you to activate one of the fluorescence options. If you want to access further settings, open the extended control center by clicking this arrow. You can find the buttons for system and drape auto balance on top. If the RFID chip of the Zeiss Smart Drape is placed on the RFID reader, you will also see the auto drape function here. By clicking on one of these two symbols, you can directly jump to the control settings for your hand grips and foot control panel. This icon will tell you if you have set the system to optical or digital mode. The mode can be changed in the microscope settings. Here you will also see the current observation mode. It can be side-by-side -side or face-to-face. -face. The mode can be changed right on the microscope head itself by turning the little black wheel with the arrow. Zeiss Pentero 800S also offers different presets for its visualization modes. Depending on your requirements, you can easily change between the standard mode, depth or depth plus for an increased depth of field. For further settings, go to the Setup menu and then to Microscope Settings. There you will find further settings in regard to illumination, tube, focus and zoom. The main features here are changing the lamp, adjusting the light warning threshold, changing the system mode from optical to digital, enabling autofocus with brakes and laser focus aids and configuring the different visualization presets. In this menu, you will also find the smart links which can be activated or deactivated here. For further information about the smart links, please refer to the instructions for use.